Oh there my beautiful friends, I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you're new here, what is up? My name is Julia and I'm someone that advocates for intuitive eating, intuitive living, and moving your body the way that feels best to you. If you've watched just one of my videos, I think you know that I love to start my day with something warm and delicious and nourishing to drink. It is a ritual of mine that kicks off my day in a positive light and a calming light. And I really encourage you guys to have something that you fall back on to do in the morning that makes you feel your best. After I sipped on my matcha hot chocolate, I made myself a smoothie, but I wasn't feeling protein powder for whatever reason, so I decided to throw in half of a block of silken tofu along with some banana, mango, and mixed berries. I also added some hemp seeds to this because I honestly just love hemp seeds so much, so anytime I can add them into recipes, I tend to do so. After I sipped on my smoothie, I went on about a 25 to 35 minute walk. I didn't narrow down the time to an exact number, but it was a really beautiful morning walk. And just want to say, don't underestimate the power of the beautiful walk for the mind and for the body as well. After I got back, I made myself a little tea session and ate some chocolate because tea and chocolate just go hand in hand in my mind. And then a little bit later, I started on some lunch. So I'm just chopping up some garlic, some green onions, some cilantro, and some parsley as well. Adding some oil to a pan, adding some Swiss chard, and then I'm gonna let that saute for a couple minutes. And then I'm gonna add my herbs and my garlic, season it with some salt and some pepper, and then cover it with a lid and just let it be for a little while. Forgot to mention, I did add some basil and some balsamic vinegar as well. And then I let it be. <laughs> threw in about a quarter block of tofu that I just cubed up, and then also threw in some frozen beans and then I had some leftover quinoa from a curry that I made so I just warmed it up on the side of the pan and then threw everything into the bowl together. This lunch was beyond easy to make. You throw everything in a pot, you season it well, you really just hope for the best and then you serve it up and enjoy. It took me about 10 to 12 minutes to make so I highly recommend. And because I was feeling super pumped up, energized and ready to freaking go after that lunch, maybe like not right after lunch, but <laughs> I decided to do a little workout midday, which is not the norm for me. I typically don't work out in the middle of the day. I like to do it e either in the morning or in the evening, but sometimes when you're feeling inspired, you just gotta go for it. I also do wanna note that I am ovulating on this week, so I may have a little bit more energy than I typically have on the other weeks of my cycle, so just keep that in mind that maybe not every single week I'm going to work out in this way. It's just not realistic for me or for my body. But I also just really hope to show you that you don't have to like go to the gym and lift these heavy weights and do these really in-depth long workouts to be an active individual. This is a 30 minute leg and glute workout by Sydney Cummings. And the rest of the week, I'm doing lots of yoga and jujitsu and things that I really enjoy when it comes to activity. So I hope to shift your perspective a little bit. <sighs> Dead. Freaking dead. So after a long day, I was feeling something delicious, but very simple as well. So I'm gonna make some rice paper wraps. First things first, we fried up some tofu. I did not marinate my tofu or do anything specific to that. I literally just threw it in the pan and fried it up. But because of that, you gotta make a delicious sauce, which is what I did. I'll write the sauce recipe down in the description box below. It's so simple with peanut butter, sriracha, tamari, rice vinegar, all the good things. And now I'm just rolling up my rice paper wraps. I got mango, red pepper, red onion, spinach, cilantro, and my tofu as well. And it's that simple. You literally get your rice paper wraps wet, you throw everything in there, and you pray to God that you remember how to roll a burrito. After I rolled them up, I sprinkled some sesame seeds on there, dipped them in my sauce, and freaking enjoyed this meal. So I've been practicing yoga for quite some time and it's something that I really love to do and especially to start my day. I find it so grounding and calming and nourishing for my soul to just be 
in the moment with myself to breathe and to get in touch with my body. I find really fast, high-paced movement is amazing, but at the same time, being able to move slowly, to breathe and pay attention to your body and all the little aches and pains that you may have in your body that you may otherwise never notice, it just connects you to yourself a little bit more. So I highly encourage doing some yoga and get in touch with your body a little bit more. After my yoga session, of course, we gotta make something nourishing and delicious to drink, the other ritual that I have. And for breakfast, I was not feeling anything too technical. I had a lot of things to do on my list today, and I also just had leftovers to eat. So I threw some leftovers in my bowl, lots of veggies and some chickpeas that I seasoned really well with a variety of spices and cooked all together in a baking dish. As you guys may know, or may be able to tell, I absolutely love cooking and spending my time in the kitchen. I just just find it really rewarding and satisfying to do but I want to say I totally understand that the way that I cook and how much I cook is very unrealistic to a lot of people with that said I want you to look at what I'm doing on a daily basis and what I'm cooking and what I'm eating as my full-time job because this is my full-time job my friends I really hope to inspire a meal that you guys create in the kitchen and although most of the recipes that I do share are fairly easy to make and not super technical either it is still really unrealistic to think that you're gonna cook everything that I cook if you don't have the time. So always give yourself grace, my friends, and do what works best for you. Oh, this pan is so heavy. And when you do have the opportunity or the time to make yourself a nourishing meal, make extras so that way you have lunch for the next day or dinner for the next day. Make your life easier, but don't skip out on delicious food, my friends. And I really hope to just get you into the kitchen and remind you of the importance of a home-cooked meal, even if it only takes you 20 minutes to make it. Anyways, I saved the rest of my stir fry and noodles for later. And right before jujitsu, about an hour before jujitsu, I just cut up an apple and an orange and had some almonds and some chocolate. I didn't feel like having a massive dinner before going to jujitsu class because I would have just got a stomach ache and that's never fun. But yeah, so this is jujitsu. This is me tackling my friend Hilton, even though he's a million times better than I am and has been doing this a lot longer than I have. However, it is just so fun to be able to move my body in a way that I've never really moved my body before. Like I've never just gone out here and started fighting people on the street, if you know what I mean. But anyways, the way that the class is typically structured is we do a warm up that lasts about five to 10 minutes. And then our sensei teaches us and shows us the moves that we're gonna be practicing in that class for about 45 minutes or so. And then after we do our practice, we do four five minute rounds of sprawling, which is what you just saw. And holy heck, is it a workout. This morning, I had a very relaxed breakfast moment with some granola, blueberries, and some milk, and then I munched on the leftover stir fry. And then I went out and grabbed a latte because sometimes you gotta treat yourself to a delicious latte. Luckily, there's lots of nice cafes around the area that I live, so I can just walk to one, and it's a beautiful way to kind of get out of your apartment and interact with human beings for a hot second. <laughs> But now it's time for lunch, so I'm gonna make a big quinoa salad with lots of veggies, some edamame beans and or soybeans now that I know that they are the same thing after embarrassing myself in a previous video. And I just wanna say, I don't actually get embarrassed very easily. So anytime I say something like that, my feelings aren't actually hurt. I take everything with a light of heart, my friends, and I encourage you to do the same as well. Anyways, I threw in grated carrot, red cabbage, a half a cup of red quinoa, some spinach, our soybeans slash edamame beans. And then as a sauce, I threw in some soy sauce, sriracha, and then I mixed up some peanut butter with some water, threw that in there, along with some rice vinegar as well. Again, this was so simple to make. All you gotta do is cook up some quinoa, chop up some veggies, and throw some edamame beans in a bowl of hot water and let them steep for a little while. By a little while, I literally mean like four to five minutes. And then you can enjoy a delicious salad. After that, I was feeling very fruity, Summer is coming, the warmer weather is coming. I probably just jinxed it and now it's gonna snow tomorrow. <laughs> Feeling fruity, so I just blended up some frozen pineapple banana with some kefir. Brain freeze. Mmm, instantly goes back for more. So good. 
I, for whatever reason today, wasn't vibing cooking dinner or eating dinner for whatever damn reason, but I just listened to my body, I snacked on an orange, and then a little bit later, I went for a 25 minute walk or so. A walk at the end of the day always just calms my mind and gets me ready to relax. So here's another day of my life where I started it off with a matcha latte, adding some lion's mane mushroom to it, of course. But I was feeling like a cool cat this morning, and for breakfast, we are going to make mac and cheese. Yes, mac and cheese for breakfast, because what better way to start the freaking day, you know? Like, you just want to tell all of your friends, guess what I ate for breakfast today? Mac and cheese. Yeah, and I did that, by the way. So we're gonna start off by chopping up half of a jalapeno. You can do as much jalapenos like. If you want it more spicy, if you want it less spicy, just cater it to yourself. I also chopped up some zucchini and some onion, and then we got creating our sauce. Ah! So in the middle of making this sauce, I realized I had no nutritional yeast in the house, which is absolutely shocking to me. However, we did without and it still turned out damn delicious. I will write the full recipe for this down below and I would suggest adding a couple tablespoons worth of nutritional yeast to it just to, you know, add the cheesy flavor that we all need and love in a mac and cheese. As you saw, I got my veggies going and let those saute for a little while in some oil and then once the pasta was done, I added it to my pot along with spinach and our sauce. Okay guys, so I was so beyond happy that I started my day off with mac and cheese that I had to dance for like 10, 15 minutes in the morning. And I wanna tell you guys that dancing crazily and sporadically is exercise. And that's why I put this in here because I danced for like 10 or 15 minutes straight, just having the time of my life. And that is movement, my friends. That is valuable movement for your body. All of my friends, I'm so sorry for this really shaky footage right now. Here's my face. I'm right here. Hello, I'm driving. I forgot my little hookup for the car, but I'm on my way to a jujitsu class right now. So this has become like a weekly ritual for me to go to jujitsu every single week, twice a week. I am absolutely enjoying it and it is such a fun workout and it's so inclusive as well. I'm at a stoplight right now, that's why I'm moving my hands just so you know. But just sympathize with me and the fact that I'm a normal human and like asking someone that you don't really know if it's okay to film them is just like really awkward. So yeah, reality check. So like I told you guys before at the beginning of this video, the basis of the jujitsu class is a nice good warm up and then you're practicing moves slowly with a partner and then you do sprawling or rolling with people. I only did a couple rolls, so I only did two five minute rounds with people just because I didn't want to go home super sweaty and disgusting and also not wipe myself out completely because I did have a hot yoga date with my friend on this night and I wanted to actually be alive for it. But between one exercise class to the next exercise class, I had a very yummy smoothie bowl, and then we got into yoga. I very stupidly pressed record on my phone with the camera facing the wrong way. So I recorded the wall for about 45 minutes until I realized at the end of the class. So I only caught the cool down of this yoga class, but the hot yoga class is pretty intense and a lot of movement, a lot of change in positions. We're like doing inversions and all of that fun stuff. So this one was a very active yoga class, even though what I'm showing you is very chilled out right now. Thank you, thank you so much for joining me. 
What better way to end the day of lots of movement with a refreshing salad? Honestly, to me, that's just awesome. So I started off by throwing in some spinach and some mixed greens along with some quinoa that I had hanging out in the fridge that I wanted to use up, some red cabbage, we got some cucumber, and then I threw in a bunch of fresh herbs as well. A lot of cilantro and a lot of parsley. And then I'm cubing up a half of an avocado, throwing that in there along with a good, good drizzle of oil. That oil is from sun-dried tomatoes, so it had lots of flavor to it and it was super, super yummy, which is perfect for this salad. I also crumbled in half of a block of tempeh, actually, sorry, I lied, a quarter block of tempeh. <laughs> I added some balsamic vinegar, some Dijon mustard, and sprinkled in some pumpkin seeds as well, just taste testing as I went. And yes, I ate this entire bowl of salad, just so you're aware. <laughs> Okay, so here's me telling you to go make yourself a delicious hot chocolate because you deserve a hot chocolate in your life for your soul, for your mind, and for your body. The hot chocolate is the drink for you. Unless maybe you hate chocolate, but in that case, maybe I don't even want to be your friend. I'm totally joking. I still love you no matter what you dislike or like within reason. <laughs> I had a mango, munched on that, and then I was just feeling really snacky this morning. So I just had some crackers with some hummus and some tapenade. And because I am addicted to spice, I drizzled in some hot sauce to my hummus as well, munched on some chocolate, and then I made myself a big old lunch bowl. Starting off by cutting up some sweet potato and some normal potato as well, just throwing that all into the pan. And then I'm going to season it with a decent amount of oil, lots of salt, lots of pepper, and some chili flakes as well. You can definitely add some tofu into the mixture too. That would be a great addition to this. And just make sure it's nice and crispy. Even just a tablespoon of nutritional yeast in this as well would be absolutely delicious and not complicated any more than what it is. So I chucked that into the oven for about 35 to 45 minutes. I didn't really time it. I just poked a potato every once in a while until they were done. And again, because I was feeling snacky, I had some leftover curry hanging out in my fridge from takeout a few weeks, for a few weeks ago, that's not good, last week that I really wanted to eat up. So I had that. And as for the dressing for our bowl, I needed some lemon juice. So one thing that I've been doing recently is just squeezing out lemons and throwing the juice into a jar. So that way I don't have to squeeze lemons every single time I need lemon juice. I just have it hanging out in the jar in the fridge and then I can use it as needed. And that just makes my life so much easier, especially when I need to massage some kale, which is what I'm just about to do. So I chopped up a decent amount of kale, threw it into my bowl, salted it, added some lemon juice to it and used my hands to massage it and break it down a little bit better. So that way it's easier for your digestive system to break up and digest. <laughs> no one wants to poop out a whole thing of kale. Anyways, okay. I threw in some parsley, some cilantro, and some red cabbage as well. And now it's time to whip together a quick little sauce. So I added some oil, some balsamic vinegar, some pepper, some onion powder, some maple syrup to add a little bit of sweetness, balance it all out. And I did add a little bit of lemon juice to this. I swear to you. Apparently I just forgot to edit that in. We threw our potatoes on top of our salad aspect of this bowl and then drizzled our dressing all over the place and freaking enjoyed. Again, this was so very simple. Literally cut up a few veggies, bake some potatoes, and you can do this the night before lunch. This would be great for meal prep and you can make multiple days worth as well, which is something I always encourage people to do on a busy schedule. After I munched on that, I went on about a 35 to 45 minute walk, somewhere around that range. And I just enjoyed the views. It was such a beautiful day. It was a really warm, warm day, which just makes my heart so happy. And I feel like you can hear it in my voice right now. I am just a summer queen. I am not made for the winter or the fall or even really the spring a lot of the time. I'm a summer queen. For dinner today, we are making a delicious, creamy, just all around freaking fantastic, throw everything that you got left in the fridge in a stir fry, but make it delicious type of meal. That was a lot of talking to describe what we're just about to do. 
I oiled a hot pan, threw onion, carrot, zucchini, lots of ginger, lots of garlic, along with some Brussels sprouts as well, seasoned it with a good amount of salt and let that hang out for a little while, and then threw in half of a block of tofu. So now I'm gonna whip up a delicious sauce for all of those veggies because it is just a necessary thing to do. So I did half of a lime's juice along with some leftover gochujang that I had hanging out in the fridge from when I ordered pho a little while ago. I also added some maple syrup and some miso paste as well. And then realizing, okay, I want a creaminess to this. Why didn't I not think to add peanut butter to begin with? So I added two decent scoops of peanut butter to a jar along with probably one third of a cup of water. Mix it all together and then threw it into all of the veggies. Let that saute for about eight to 10 minutes. Served it up with my rice and some seaweed. Why is seaweed so good? Like it's such a strange thing to be so good. <laughs> Look how creamy that sauce is. Wow, this is actually incredible. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and got some value out of it as well. If you could hit the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already, it truly supports my channel and I really appreciate it. I hope to see you again so very soon, but I wanna remind you to move your body in a way that feels good to you, to fuel your body in a way that feels good to you because we don't need one more thing to dread in our lives. I'm sending you all so much love, my friends. Mwah!